How does it feel to have your film shown here at the United Nations in the scope of its Holocaust Remembers the program? It's a tremendous honour for all of us who worked on this film and a tremendous honour to Maria Altman, uh, the woman who Helen Mirren portrays in the film. Why was it important for you to be here tonight? Do you have a specific message you'd like to bring? Well, the message of the film is we shouldn't forget the terrible events of the Second World War and as we go into this new century that's more troubled than we might have wanted it to be, it seems even more important to remember the lessons of the 20th century. And that's one of the messages of the film and that's obviously one of the messages of the day today. How did you become aware of this story and what sparked your interest in it? Uh, I, I'd read about the uh, case when it was going through the court system and in Austria and I was just very struck by a woman who had been a refugee and reinvented her life in America uh, wanting to make amends for some of the terrible things that happened in the past before it was too late. How did Helen Mirren get involved? She read the script and believed in the story as much as the rest of us and Obviously, she never met Maria, who passed away before we started working on the film, but uh, she studied Maria's videotapes and, uh, very, very uh, seriously. And everyone who knew Maria thinks that Helen captured her perfectly. And you mentioned the importance of memory and remembering these stories. The film speaks to the importance of memory. And why is it? What are the lessons that we learn? Why is it so important to know these stories? Well, human beings were capable of some terrible things in the 20th century. And uh, I think it's important for people to remember those mistakes uh, so we can avoid them happening again. Now, there are some facts that you change in the story from the original story in terms of um, Maria when she left Vienna, apparently, whether her father had died before or after, or the story of the lawyer. Um, can you tell us why you made those choices? Uh, well, we work very closely with Randy Schoenberg, uh, the, the, whose character is in the film. Uh, and, you know, given that it was, the story took place over most of the 20th century, in a 90-minute in a film or 100-minute film, it was impossible to tell the whole story. So, uh, you know, we took license to, 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 to um, you know, to compress the story at times. But by and large, it's the true story. Um, does... Does the story have an impact on you personally? Does it uh, yeah, speak I'm to from, you? I'm from a, a, a Jewish family raised in the UK. Unfortunately, my family was in the UK earlier than the, the, the Second World War. So I don't actually have a Holocaust story in my own family, thank God. But, uh, you know, I do identify with that Jewish community that was so spectacular in Vienna and was destroyed almost overnight. So uh, I can understand that. And I also think uh, this, this film is a very important uh, reminder of the, the, the great positive impact of refugees relocating to a new country and obviously the Jewish emigres contributed so much to the United States and other countries they, they moved to and you know, these new waves of refugees could well be uh, the extraordinary people of the future in their new countries. So it's important, uh, you know, there's often a very negative attitude to refugees and, and really it should be positive. They're a gift to their new country and they can contribute in, all, in unimaginable ways. What are you hoping the Im tonight's impact will be? Well, I mean, I've seen this film all over the world and uh, uh, I've been very touched by the way audiences respond to it. And I think they, they enjoy the personal story and they they, you know, they get the message that people uh, should remember what happened in the 20th century and uh, you know, to make sure those sort of things never happen again. Thank you so much. Thank you very much.